How's everybody doing? Good morning. Is this the first time you guys have all seen each other all together? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like um, Hunter, you're you're like a stranger to me. I've talked to Stick a little bit, but um, I miss you, man. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I'm doing all right. How are you doing? I miss you too. I'm great. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us, everybody. This is fun. I didn't know if we'd be able to get everybody on here. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. What else are we doing? Right. <laughs> I, know. I guess we should just start out talking about the album, uh, Scripting the Flip, which um, just came out and is awesome. But, um, mm -hmm. you know, first of all, I guess this is the first album with Hunter on it. You know, I just kind of wanted to get your... Um, thoughts on the process and what was different with this process versus the other other albums and just you know how that how it all went and what you feel about it for, for me I just feel super proud of it like I feel I feel like it I usually have um, a, a nice little grace period um, with our albums <laughs> and um, I guess that's what I'm in right now um, but I feel like this where, where I really love the album <laughs> that we made <laughs> But usually we're playing the tunes so much um, that I get pretty quick to the place where I can't listen to it anymore um, because I've just sort of, I've expanded my parts or, you know, it just, it starts to sound like, you know, just very like recorded and, and, and um, like a smaller to me, to my own ears compared to what it feels like to play it live. But, um, but I've been like, I've really just enjoyed listening to it and in I, in imagining people all over the country and their houses listening to it. <laughs> That's really fun. Uh -huh. I just think it sounds, I think all three of us sound like the, the quality of the tones of all three instruments is really high. You know, I love it. I'm proud. Yeah. I've, I've been really excited about it because I, well, yeah, echoing everything, but also I, uh, I used three different drum sets and three different snares, and they're all kind of interchanged. So I've had a whole lot of fun referring to the tones, going back through and, and listening and remembering, oh, yeah, that song had that kit. Oh, that's interesting how that sounds, or this one was that kit. Or... So you know, the little drumistic part of it has been really fun for me, trying to pick out the little elements that, that bring out each different kit and what they do well or don't do well and things like that um but as a whole i i think the whole thing sounds great i think i've only actually listened to it all the way through in one sitting i think i've only done one time but it's it's pretty cool it's it's a it's a pretty cool ride to go on i, I really yeah. like it <laughs> I'm I'm pretty proud of it as well. I think it's our best work yet by far. Um, having Hunter in the mix is a huge part of that. And uh, yeah, just the, our approach was different. You know, we did it in kind of broken up sessions over the course of about six months. I think it was, what was it, four sessions total? So, you know, it's almost like got a comp, almost like a little bit of a compilation energy for me where each little session we did kind of has its own light sound and life. You know, we, I know Lindsay used two different violins on, on the album. I used two different guitars. Hunter used three different kits. So there's a lot of like motion going on. Whereas in the past, you know, we were in for one week with all the same shit and we did it. And it sounds very like that. But this one is, I feel like there's a lot more of a flow to it. We've gotten to know some of these songs. I, I think of, good amount of them, you know, as mm -hmm. fans seeing you live, we've gotten to see a lot of them. Is it really like, how is it affecting a, you guys and the album not being able to tour this album? I, it's an obvious bummer not to be out playing it, but it's, it's, it's really interesting to, to read people's comments or see people's posts on Instagram or Facebook where they're having really nice things to say about it and posting little things about it and getting really jacked about that and then kind of having the oh wish we could wish we could yeah. go and hang out at the bar with you and, and play the songs and talk about it and stuff but it's still really exciting to have people you know they're cooking dinner and they're like look 
I'm listening to your songs and I'm cooking dinner and and I feel great now and like yeah okay glad we could be a part of that it kind of puts it into perspective a little bit that and and makes it um, seem like almost a luxury to get to go out and play you know to go to go out and play for people it, it seems like it would be a real luxury to be able to to be able to go out and play these songs right now it's right now I, I feel like the way the music is hitting people isn't a different um they ha there's there's probably more of a chance to to really let it sink in it's they're not they're not receiving the music in the midst of their busy lives they're sort of like really having a chance to sit and listen to it so i don't know maybe Hot that's time. Fine. yeah i mean the, the chances that i would think because of the situation we're in you've had a lot more people um, Hunter excluded, but a lot more people actually listen to it all the way through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Hunter's uh, just they're busy over here. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, how long is this thing going? <laughs> it's sweet that since we're all locked down, the record is out there kind of doing its thing. You know, I'm, I, we talked about delaying the release, um, but. Um, going ahead and putting it out i think during this time was definitely like the right call you know just yeah, i agree something going on I agree, yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah there was i think there's one song on the album that we i don't think actually played live and there's one song that we have not played too much live so when we do get to get out and start playing again we do still have kind of a couple surprises i mean people will be able to have heard them by now and know them they won't have seen us play them yet, right? So there's a you know there's a little bit of a little bit of um, like, something to look forward to, I guess. Yeah, more yeah. more than you know in terms of I should say in terms of an album release. Well, I think it's a very unique opportunity that you have that when you do go out and start playing, your fans have had the time to get to know these songs. Yeah, you know that's not always necessarily a given to us. I guess you know like because there's there's kind of a um, a feeling of like I want to put out new stuff, you know, um, but it'll still be relatively new and familiar at the same time <laughs> if we go back out, which hopefully isn't not in like a year, but more like a few months. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. What is that going to look like? That's you know, that's what we are so anxious to get back to it. But I'm, we were talking the other day. We're like, are we going to have festivals where we just have to like? tape off a lawn and you get like a square to stand in or something <laughs> we can have the festival i'm down right yeah exactly <laughs> uh, they could make a uh, like the the um where the audience is like into a grid on the ground and yeah, like everyone's <laughs> yeah <laughs> it doesn't matter how they do it people are going to be so excited that we'll do anything yeah. <laughs> it's like whatever y'all say is safe we'll go to because yeah, it's true. Well, it's it's man, whatever you want me to do, I'm gonna go. <laughs> like stand in my box and I'll dance. Like. Right. Could force know, everyone to wear that. those uh, those like full sumo body suits so that there's natural oh, expansion. That's a theme oh, for a like festival. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we think on the other side of this, there's gonna be a lot of good that comes out of this, right? Like people are learning how to reconnect. People are learning how to just value different things in their lives. But are, are there certain things that you guys have taken out of this experience that you look at as positives? Yeah, I feel like um, one thing that I've been experiencing and that I've noticed a lot of people um, through the internet <laughs> have been as well is, is um, growing things, you know, like musicians who are normally completely on the go um, now having the chance to like, this kind of this elemental um, back to basics kind of vibe of, of like growing food, just having the time to do something like that. That's kind of something that you've just, I generally am like, I'll do that when I'm old, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but it's something that really feeds, you know, it's a, such a human thing to do, like growing food or plants um, and just cooking really good food, um, just, Having the chance to do that, I feel like helps us get back to who we are in a certain sense, you know? I feel like that's a positive thing. Yeah, you don't think about the fact that, you know, musicians, you are so often on the road that just being at home for such an extended period of time is very different. Adjustment. From, yeah. <laughs> Definitely adjustment. Yeah. I mean, Jason and I lived on the road for about 
six or seven years. And when we first moved back into our house, it was just like major nesting, you know, like we just wanted to do all the yard work, do all the housework, do all the cooking. Like we just kind of like got really settled in and then it wore off for sure. <laughs> like, all right, I want to get back out there. But yeah, there is some sense of like comfort in that, you know, and just being in your home. I've, I've been planning a lot more uh mostly because there's not much to do um but there there i think the result is that when you if you figure out like one thing a week to do like for me it's or for my wife and i it's like once a week we will try to go to a friend's house and we'll we'll sit in their front yard and they'll sit on their porch and we'll have a drink and it's every you know since everything's slowed down it's nice to actually plan a few days out and have something to look forward to and it, i don't know it's got i've i've enjoyed that part of it about actually having like i said just like having things to look forward to I, i'm so used to when you're on the road here's what has to happen boom 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 boom, boom. and then when i come home uh i just whatever <laughs> i take yeah. the dog for a walk and hopefully play some gigs but that's that's it now it's like oh let's okay this is what time i eat every day and this is the day <laughs> that i go and visit friends and this is the day that i have have a zoom beer chat with my buddy and this is it's it's nice to plan and to actually look forward to things a bit more clearly than yeah. we used to you know you need that time to really recharge and rest and and not stress about like even maintaining a garden. Like I tried it for the, for a few years while touring was picking up and then it just became like, everything okay. was ready to harvest as soon as we would leave for tour. Yeah. And it I'm was like, really sad. <laughs> I'm tired of coming back to dead tomatoes and you know, like a dead yeah. garden. Like it's just too sad. It's lonesome. Don't you guys feel like you've gotten like really in tune with your animals personalities? more than me oh yeah <laughs> my cat louise actually she's like scratching at the door right now she's i just i'm like i'm in tune with all of her i mean we've uh, we've definitely become more adversarial than we already were um <laughs> 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 I do. Uh, I have a dog and a cat. My dog is also named Rosie. <laughs> Weird. Stickly. Hey, our dog's no. name is Rose Pepper. Okay. We named her after your dog. <laughs> <laughs> Love your dog. I've then, never even met your dog, Rosie. I've never even seen her. <laughs> I'm not sure she exists. Were you aware really of her good. existence and her name? I knew she was a dog. I knew he had a dog. I did think <laughs> her name was Rosie. What? How did you guys not talk about that? I did I never you named your dog after Hunter's dog. <laughs> we were talking names and we we were like, blah, 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 blah. Oh, like, what about Rosie? And they're like, oh, Rosie's a great name. And then, like, it was like the next day I was like, wait, Hunter's dog's name is Rosie. I, and it was too yeah, late. I think you called me. I think you called and said, hey, is your dog named Rosie? I said, yeah. No, like, no. All of y'all are making, none of this is what happened. We named her Rose Pepper, and then one time you were on the phone. You did speak on the phone, and Hunter was like, "I have a dog named Rosie." And then from right then, I was like, "Her name is Rose Pepper." <laughs> we were in January, and we weren't talking to Hunter back in January. Nobody goes anywhere in January, right? Yeah. Why would you talk to him? We don't talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, around we here, I would have named her Rose Pepper had we remembered your dog. <laughs> cat's name cat's mm -hmm. name is Mamie Mamie nice Mamie and Rosie yeah nice uh, are you connecting with them on a more philosophical level these days I think so Mamie is a very philosophical cat um, <laughs> most cats are especially if you have a, a a bag of chips in your hand she has a lot of deep thoughts that she needs to <laughs> tell you about <laughs> Well, I think we should play a game now. Um, so you guys, we're, we're going to play Two Truths and a Lie. You guys have already prepared. We'll go around um, and, and you'll, you'll read 
in no particular order, two truths and one lie, and then everybody is going to guess which one is the lie. Um, okay. Since you're the newest in the band, Hunter, let's start with you. Mine are all high school based because I don't think, I, I've told John and, and Lindsay a lot of stories from the last 10 years, but I don't think I've told too many high school stories. So I tried to stick to that. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, so number one, uh, I was president of the German club my senior year of high school. Number two, I whispered the Gettysburg Address as though it were a sweet nothing into my 11th grade English teacher's ear. <laughs> and number three, I got a three-day home suspension for cross-dressing at a pep rally in my senior year. Oh, they're all so believable. I believe all of them. <laughs> I believe the first one because you helped me speak German the other day. Yeah, he definitely knows German. Constantly cross-dressed still. <laughs> <laughs> I know. They're all so believable. All right. All right. Well, what's, what's your vote, Stickers? Which one's the lie? The, the whispering. The yes. whispering, I'm going to say, is the, the lie. All right. Throw it. What do you think? I think the third one. Which was the, um, the, the cross dressing at a pep rally? I mean, shit. that is like that's that's it totally little, did that. <laughs> that's a little, and that's it's believable, but the fact that you would get suspended for it is a little harsh because also, that... how much spirit does Hunter have for high school? A lot, highly spirited man. <laughs> I'm gonna vote for. So I, it's been confirmed you speak German, but I don't know if you're president material. I, I'm gonna say- <laughs> Damn, I'm burn, Jason. <laughs> I'm wearing number two. All right, so that's, is that two for two and then one for one, one for three? I think yeah. so, yeah. We're keeping score. Okay. Three is mine, yeah. Oh yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so the lie was the suspension for cross-dressing. Uh, I I did I did cross dress at the pep rally, but there was no suspension. I I, Ooh, I rode in I rode in on a little razor scooter and scooted across the the gym in a dress and a wig. And when I got back to the front to where the the principals were waiting for us, we thought they were going to suspend us, but they were just like, "What in the hell is the matter with you?" <laughs> Did you, why did you whisper into the Gettysburg Address? My 11th grade English teacher made us memorize a few speeches, and she said that we could recite them any way we wanted. And so on the day of the thing, I felt pretty confident, and I went up to her and said, I would like to whisper this into your ear as though it were a sweet nothing. <laughs> Think <laughs> oh my god. Four score and seven years ago. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. That was great. And I finished and she said, okay, you passed. <laughs> was, was she was she cute? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> let's try all right through it let's let's hear yours okay um the first one um i once met the band guar Ooh. Ooh. Uh -oh. so number two i was briefly huh okay i was briefly chased by an elephant while, while i was in india um the last one is, I used to do regular clogging exhibitions at the zoo. I believe uh, that 100%. That's true, 100%. <laughs> okay, I just have to say, you guys, this was r really hard to think of things that Stickley doesn't know about me. <laughs> really tell it. Like, I'm like, I have told you every interesting thing about myself <laughs> and a lot of non-interesting things about myself. I don't know about that elephant. Maybe. I don't know if that was oh, part of oh. India. The, the monkeys chased you. Yeah, the monkeys. They fucked with you all the time. And, and the guar 
thing is so random, it's almost got to be true. We were playing in Knoxville last time we played there at that Terminal West place. Everyone was coming out of the guar show when we were loading out, and they were all covered in, like, guar goo. <laughs> yeah. It's awesome. Would you open for guar, given the opportunity? Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Would you let guar open for you? Sure. Is that, yes. that would present a sticky situation. Touche. Oh, yeah. well, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what are we saying? Let's get our votes. I guess I got to go Guar. I know the, the extra the extra detail about the zoo, because that's totally what I did. I had to throw in an extra detail to make it a lie, which is making me think that the extra detail of the zoo. Ah, zoo. The zoo. zoo? Okay. Okay. zoo. One for zoo. Ah. Okay. I don't think she was chased by an elephant. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm going to go with elephant one. Okay. I feel like the India one is the same as the zoo. It's like both are true, but there's a false fact involved. I'm going to go with the India elephant. Okay, that's another one for the elephant. Kelly? I'm going to go with the zoo. That's another one for the zoo. Um, <laughs> I am also going for the elephant because just picking up on the conversation when you said she's already told you about being chased by monkeys, I feel like she would have mentioned the well, elephant. Monkeys ruined her life, man. All right. Yeah. And, like, and then she just doesn't mention the elephant when she tells <laughs> that. So yeah. I'm going for the elephant. So that's Different three votes. part of a trip, you know? <laughs> yeah, we got the three votes for the elephant, two votes for the clogging in the zoo. No votes for Guar, so. Yeah, everyone thinks I'm a Guar. Everyone thinks he's all gone. All right, well. Okay, the lie was the elephant. You're right. Um, I no. did to do um, regular clogging. We called them <laughs> exhibitions. Our gigs were called exhibitions, and we used to clog at the zoo, like, every month or something. That's believable that they would have, like, a clogging exhibition I was thinking, zoo. where else yeah. would they do it? Where would you do it? Was there, like, a, like a stage? There was a... It was a concrete stage. <laughs> <laughs> it was loud as hell, I'll tell you that. Um, <laughs> no, you guys are totally, you guys totally picked up on the, um, I was chased by monkeys a lot. Um, and do you still clog? Uh, occasionally, but, um, but no, I was like a pretty serious competition clogger when I was growing up. Can we get you clogging at a stickly show? Like, why hasn't this happened yet? Oh yeah, you could be like- No, I definitely need to wear the shoes. Um, yeah. The shoes are, you know, really what make it. They're, they're, um, they're really loud. They're clogged. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're loud. For clogging. The cl clogs they're are clogging. important for clogging. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, Stickly. I'm taking it back to childhood as well. Um, even earlier than Hunter. Uh, when I was a little kid, I used, I had like a ner nervous tick where I would repeat the last few words of a sentence under my breath. And I'd be like, hey, where are we going today? Going today. And my mom was really freaked out about it and took me to a psychologist. And um, he said I would probably grow out of it. <laughs> okay. Nervous, <laughs> Nervous tick, tick, number one. Did they recommend medication? No, they just said keep an eye on it and he'll probably stop. <laughs> and I did. Okay. Cool. All right. Or did I? Yeah. <laughs> um, I also, um, as a kid, one of my first instruments was my mouth. I um, got really into whistling and actually entered some whistling competitions. Um, of which I made it to the state finals. I never, I never placed above fourth place, but it was a pretty serious musical undertaking for me for a few years. So you actually did take fourth place at one point? Yeah, I took fourth place. What age was this? This was in elementary school, <laughs> the third, fourth grade. Can we, can we hear a whistle now? Ooh, nice, okay. nice vibrato. It's a little airy, but nice vibrato. <laughs> <laughs> my, I don't have the high notes like I used to. It's not a touch screen, honey. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, okay, and then the third one is when I was a kid, I went to my friend's birthday party, 
and I was kind of like a fat kid and uh, I ate eight pieces of pizza and the mom who was hosting the party called my mom out of like anger and just concern um, to let her know that her son had eaten eight pieces of pizza at this birthday party. We'll call that one angry pizza mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've got a uh, nervous tick, nervous tick. Uh, <laughs> whistling. <laughs> that, was, that was so good. <laughs> and angry pizza mom. Uh, Hunter, what do you think? I think that I have heard you tell a story about the first one, something like the first one. And I can't remember if that was the detail in it or if there's some other thing. But you didn't do a bad job whistling. I think I'm going to go whistle. I, I'm nervous that it's the nervous tick, but I think I'm going to go whistle. It's obvious to you that he was a fat kid that ate too much pizza at a party, though. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've heard that story. <laughs> <laughs> like, that one didn't even come to the table. Like, no. oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, definitely heard the pizza story. <laughs> so that's like <laughs> you're obviously particularly proud of. <laughs> I don't know, you've told this story often. <laughs> I didn't remember that I, I, I don't know, I, don't know. I could, have, could have been making it up. Yeah, you could have watched it, maybe the mom didn't call, maybe it wasn't eight places. I mean, maybe it was a plant, maybe John was like, you know, someday I'm going to have to play this game. And it's true, <laughs> yeah, it's all Start been one long time. Oh, major chess moves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so Hunter, are you voting whistling? Is that, is that where you're going? Yeah, I'm voting whistling. All right, one vote whistling. Oh, Pruitt, what you think? I am also voting whistling yeah. because, yeah, this is another, like, you know, I don't necessarily have a, I don't have a great memory in general, but we have talked about a lot of shit <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> I just think I've heard those other two and um, I've <laughs> never heard the thing about the whistling and I feel like you would have told me that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got another whistle. What do you think, Cal? Um, I'm going whistling too. Oh man. I feel like I've oh I definitely can I mean the pizza thing's obviously true. Right. I feel like a great <laughs> whistler. But I don't see we're doing it for are uh, competing with whistling in elementary yeah. school. I mean I'm gonna say like <laughs> you have a strong whistle, but I don't know if that's a competitive whistle. Yeah, right. It's like Hunter speaks German, but not at the president's level. Right. Right. But I was I was a German <laughs> president, right. though. Yeah. And I feel like the nervous tick you sort of might still have. I'm not sure. <laughs> 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 Let's make it a queen sweep. We're going. We're going whistling. We're all going whistling. You guys are hard to fool. Uh, I'm not a competitive whistler. And <laughs> never was. <laughs> I could never whistle, right? My neither of my parents could whistle. My dad does this weird, like that's what my dad does, and he does it better than that. No whistling. I just assumed I couldn't whistle. Then Kelly decided that she was going to try to learn to whistle, and I was like, "Well, if Kelly can do it, I can do it." Within the course of a month, <laughs> I taught myself to whistle in a month. Like it was, I never thought, I thought if you can't whistle, you can't whistle. That's how I feel. I just assume I can't that. Whistle. Yeah. All right, it's all not right. great. Mm. <laughs> so fun story about one of Sticky's learning to whistles. He, I am really into whistling. He is really into whistling. <laughs> and he, um, when one time we were, watching this little baby, this friend of ours had this baby when we were watching it and Sticky was driving around so the baby would go to sleep and he, that's when he decided he was gonna teach himself how to do the, where you breathe in and out whistle. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was doing constant whistling by whistling while out and then while I was, then I would breathe in and keep whistling. So I could whistle. Circular through. whistling. Cross yeah. whistling? Almost yeah. Almost yeah, I almost passed out with the baby. I was. Can you demonstrate <laughs> that for us? Passed out. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not fourth place. <laughs>
I, I have another question. Um, it's, it's maybe mainly for Hunter, but you can all chime in on this. Um, I, I was wondering what you do since you're not on the road, how you maintain your van bods. <laughs> so uh, as you saw in the, the CD release video, I have a pretty strict workout routine in my office here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of you know standing on top of my bass drum and sticking le legs up in weird positions and doing deep squats on the back of a chair. And, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, we were seriously wondering, though, like, for for <clears throat> Lindsay and John, I mean, getting to be able to play online, you haven't done a lot of it, but we've seen you both stream and like, but as a drummer, like, do you have the urge to want to get on and try to stream or what would you do? Or like, Drums are, I think, are a little trickier because there's so much sound and there's so much going on. And, and you can actually probably see right there. Yeah. I, I started, I bought some mics and some gear to try to start actually recording and making legit noise at home. Yeah, there's an urge to do it. There's an urge to, to stay active and, and present. Uh, and I am trying to figure that out. And, and get better at it. I just not quite there yet, but it's that has been on my mind. Do you think the three of you could manage to get together for like a virtual live performance somehow? Yeah, I think before too, before too long, we'll do some type of socially distanced performance together. We're just kind of waiting for the right opportunity for that. And, uh, but yeah, I think, you know, maintaining social distancing a lot of people are jamming together and streaming it out i mean i i can't wait for us to get back in the same room but that seems like to me how it should happen and playing for some people it's so different when you don't have an audience like yeah you know it's just weird <laughs> weird man yeah <laughs> i'll never take an audience for granted again right. <laughs> yeah yeah, even if there's only like five people in the room, yeah. you're gonna love those five people. Yeah, yeah. Which I don't think you guys are ever having just five people in the room, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You've never seen us play in Dayton. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know at least two people in Dayton that I can get to your show, so let me know. Right. <laughs> there's this awesome mix of like this core like group of Stickly fans that are like they're excited to see you, and then this other group of people that don't know what they're about to see and don't know you guys. And like one of my joys at a Stickly Trio show is to watch that other group like come around. That's cool. I love the <laughs> other side of the things too though, the people that know your songs and like, it is a different dynamic because you guys don't have any lyrics. So it's not like you're oh, I know this song and you can sing along, but people will be like, like humming and like getting down to the beat and they like have like the beats memorized and like, they're just like, you know, <laughs> and you're like, oh, I love that. I recognize it. But that's how you have to like, you just have to dance it out. Like there's yeah. no singing along. <laughs> I think this is awesome. We're really happy you guys all came together for us. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah. It's actually my first um, like group Zoom experience. And like, it makes me want to do you're gonna hang out with us all the time now. Lessons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hang out. This is a really good group size for this. That's why you're the first band we decided to interview. We're like, well, a tree. Okay, a, a trio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Feels <laughs> you perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> well, right. yeah. I guess we'll let you all go about your days. I'm sure y'all day. have a really busy day plans. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so much stuff. <laughs> yeah. No, it's really awesome to see you all. We really do miss you guys. Um, yeah. Yeah, we miss you all too. Thanks for <laughs> organizing this and getting us all in the same virtual space together. Yeah. 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 We'll see you guys at a festival someday soon, six feet apart. Right? right. Just gridded in our grids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sumo suits. Yeah. <laughs> T Rex. I like the T Rex, T -Rex. version better. Yeah. T Rex, yeah. <laughs> Awesome. All well, right. thank you so Love much, you guys. guys. Yeah, you guys. Bye. 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 <laughs> now the awkward time when I go to hit the button. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <There you go. laughs>